<laughs> Ribbed outside, outside. <laughs> In the other room. <laughs> and now we're back. And let's get straight into the diary entry of one of the most twisted freak legends that lives on the north side of Brisbane. I've had him. It's Julian James Tennyson Woods. 4060 till he fucking dies! <laughs> Many of you fucking ringworms, holy shit. Who the fuck's been to have a good night tonight? Hey, yeah. honestly, we thought we were gonna sell four fucking. I wanna have a good night tonight, thank you. Okay, thanks, mate. <laughs> <laughs> we thought we were gonna sell four fucking tickets, three of them going to the partners of the boys, one to Matt Brown, cause fuck that cunt. Yeah. Honestly, he's got his head subscribed to the website and he lives for free. We don't owe him shit. Fuck him. But the boys asked me to come warm you guys up, and I thought, fuck, I've got to set the bar high. So, bring it out, fucking come in. Sorry, yeah. Julian. Sorry. Julian. Sorry. 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 All right, so here, here. Okay. Guys, just a raise of hands. Who's been to Thailand? Anybody here been to Thailand? All right, so in Thailand, they have a little thing called a ping pong show. A little thing called a ping pong show. There's three things you need for a ping pong show. The first thing being ping pong balls. The second thing being a girl. The third thing being consent. Obviously you need fucking consent. Prior to me and the Queensland magistrates thinking, I then learned you need consent. Okay, so right now, Chris. Actually, what's your name? Sapphire. Sapphire, that's definitely a fucking made up name, cousin. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> hey, yep. Julian, you're wasting our money. Alright, so it turns out you can't do a live sex show at the Queensland Multicultural Centre. <laughs> um, multicultural? I'm a quarter Indian, she's Aussie, that's fucking tight, that's bullshit. How about we just get into the show? Who's keen to see Marty and Michael? <laughs> who's, keen, who's keen to see Matt Brown? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Fuck that's all good. Alright James, stab, stab, kick, push, dim the fucking lights, cut. <laughs> you can fuck off, man. <laughs> Introducing one of the most fucked things to walk the face of the earth. The man who bounced backwards. The number one haver. He is Matt Brown. Oh, 
Sorry. Oh, welcome to the show, everyone. Thank you all for coming. Hands up, any website members? Yeah, most of you. Hands up, not website members. We've got a pretty, we've got a pretty wild show. Come on, guys, hurry, hurry, hurry. We've got a pretty wild show today. As you know, Shooter's going to come on. Your music saved my life. Sorry, someone's well, holding the sign. You read it right. That's right. I don't know what that means, but anyway. If I say clang, you say clang. Clang, clang. If I say Matt, you say Brown. So, all right, so we, this is, we're going to try and make this as normal a podcast as possible. And we're just going to, it's just going to, our normal segments, we're going to try a prank call at the end. And it's just, so just, this is our first live show. So just bear with us, okay? Now, Julian, you don't know this, but we've organised a very special someone Sorry. to come. Someone right? very, You're very fucking special. kidding. Oh, yeah. Here she comes. Here she comes now, Julian. It's the most special. Oh, my God, it's my <laughs> fucking mum. <laughs> It's Woo! Tracy Woods! Woo! It's your godmother! <laughs> oh my god, it is Take too. a seat, ladies. Take a seat on the ground. Oh, fuck's sake. Sit down on the and ground. And they're drinking wine too. That, oh, oh dude, shit, you that's... fucking... We're missing I knew there push was... up, push up, push up. Man. We're Sorry. going to get them in before the strip a bit, but we I think Tristan, Izzah, uh, and uh, Josh, if you move across, then they can sit together. Yeah, We're stuffed that's up perfect. Oh, you might have to go. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. All right, so... Now, this is to keep Julian in check. Oh Sorry. God! So, so first behave. of all, thank you everyone for coming. Shh. Second of all, bear with us if there's any mistakes. All right, just fucking—I don't know what's going to happen. We have no right idea now. what we're doing. All right, we're going to get on um, shooter now. Julian's going to introduce him, and uh, yeah, he's. All right, guys, you all know him as the Aussie's loosest bloke. He is the reason I started making videos. He's a pioneer in Australian comedy. Make some noise for Alex Shooter Williamson. Woo! Where is he? Brown's working. Where is he? Brown's doing shit. Oh, shit. Brown's doing things. Look at Matt. Everyone. Matt's, <laughs> Matt, Matt, Matt works in here his he is, office. Here he is. Here he is. Here he is. Come and have a Come seat. Come on. Now. Welcome. Come Just and have a fucking name. seat. Fucking hell. Oh. <laughs> you just had some names. Fucking balloon. <laughs> All right, now well, this is our first night meeting Alex as well. So how the fuck are you, dude? I was just saying if you got a stiffy. Man. No, oh, no, that's a bit wet. <laughs> yeah, uh, Lights, had a, couple drops. I had a piss, and I yeah. yeah. Mm. Sorry. Sorry about that. So how are you, dude? We first saw you right on Instagram many years ago, yes. back when Instagram was cool and not a children's. Platform. Social right. media platform. Nah, it was right, eh, when you get like the little the little red notification and then you'd be like, oh, could be some shit on the route. Yeah. Those are the days. Yeah. But it's like, it's now it's just memes and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And um, so you were pumping out heaps of vids back then. Is that what ma is that what grew your career, the Instagram vids? Yeah, uh, no, you know what? It probably, I've, I guess I've, I've skipped um, like a whore from social, from thing to thing as they sort of come out and develop, you know, you started with YouTube. Um, and with YouTube, I, I guess the way I sort of uh, uh, phrase it to people is that I started with like trying to capture a very particular niche, which is which was the dream team, the the fantasy football, you know, and and, that, and the, when the one those when those cunts got obsessed, there was only like fifteen thousand of them that were doing the, the competition at the time. There's fifteen thousand cunts that are getting around you. Yeah, that's fine. You know, um, so and then that that sort of grow that grew for me to do the Ben Cousins thing, which you might not be too familiar I've with Ben Queensland, if you want to seen it. Which is more of an Australia-wide thing, so that sort of opened it up to not be such the niche of the Dream Team comp, but the actual comp itself. So everyone who watches that film. And then I went to the soccer, the ones at World Cup going, yeah, fuck, cunt. Um, and um, that the world took notice of the get fuck, cunt, <laughs> as they should. And so I said it pretty loud. <laughs> <laughs> And then you, so you, so wh wh when's your next stand? Have you got any stand up booked in? Are you going to start touring um, again? Nah, um, at, well, at, at the moment, I'm, I'm looking to, I'm just having a break. I'm actually doing an album, actually doing some music as well. And, um, Bullshit. You sing? Uh, I, 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 pianist. Um, Holy I have fuck. A, yeah, yeah. And, we should have uh, brought a piano. I didn't yeah, know. I didn't no, know there know would that. be one back there, right? Yeah, no, 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 yeah. There. Fuck. Yeah. 
Someone should go and look, hey. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, nah, no. Nah, um, the music, yeah, the music's been a good thing to sort of, um, yeah, just take a bit of a break. I guess you sort of, um, sometimes you sort of fucking hit a bit of a wall in yeah. life itself, in whatever form that may come. Fucking oath. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Um, but, you know, I've, I seem to have climbed it. <laughs> I seem to have... I seem to be peering over the edge, hanging on for dear life at the moment. And um, no, nah, you boys might be able to just fucking cling me on and well, pull me we'll over. Save you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we, we, we can save, save each right other. Now. I'll suck your dick for 20 bucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's why he's here. 50. Uh, <coughs> 40 for you, cunt. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so what, what were you like as a... Because something we share in common is that, you know... We used to, not so much now, we used to go fucking hard and, you know, branded ourselves as Bender Boys. And we love getting Bender Boys or ex-Bender Boys on just because you've, you've, we've always got the best fucking stories. So do you have any oh. fucking fucked up stories that you'd be willing to share? Like something just fucking outrageous that happened on a Ben. Yeah, something like from kick the on day. shit. I yeah. have, no, I have, I, you know, as I was saying before, me doing the Ben Cousins stuff who uh, based on... Did he ever see that, Ben Cousins? Yeah, apparently it was put on the, on when he was at Richmond for that year, um, he they put it on the TV there at some point and he, when he was in the room, but nah, never really acknowledged it. But um, having said that, that I, 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 do, I had a mate that played for the West Coast Eagles, so I guess I could tell, I, I actually know a pretty ultimate Benny Cousins, Bender story, just purely. From yes, him. Oh, yeah. and um, yes. Like, he reckons he reckons he reckons that fucking Benny had been up for like four days just on the pipper, and um, no 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 sleep four days after a game on a Saturday night was a game, and he'd been up for. He won it too and, that game, and, and he was and he was yeah, and he fucking um, he was with a bunch of you know children s suspect characters actually <laughs> um no suspect characters it was yeah yeah, yeah but you know they're like hanging out with bikies a lot of that oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and stuff you know so he's rolling around with them and he and they're all sort of seating out in the lounge room it's been four days and anyway out of nowhere because he's just sitting there with the cunts and he just gets up you know shirt on he puts his bag on his shoulder and he's like oh, i'm off to footy train and he just walks out the <laughs> fucking door and and and, 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 the, and the, all these couple of these fucking hardcore cunts are like oh jesus fucking hell, this cunt's hardcore <laughs> like we thought we were hardcore and and then he apparently comes back fucking six hours later. He just walks through the door, no shirt on still, and he's like, broke the club swimming record. <laughs> oh, my, oh God. my God. So he was built for it. So he was made helps. for it. Meth helps with sports, I guess, is what we're trying to say. Yeah, so do drugs if you want to do if sport. If you're an aspiring athlete, do meth, maybe. <laughs> but I think that's a good inspiration. Mine are probably more depressing. That's a good inspirational one. Yeah. Wow. Um, yeah, you, so you guys, um, obviously, you still brought the nangs along today in the dressing room. I brought <laughs> my bong along. Well, it's not my bong, it's the one I'm renting from off your tree. I'm going to throw it back through the window <laughs> when I go on my... Um, <laughs> but uh, what, are you, what was your drug of choice? Oh, we've gone through phases, haven't we? Have yeah, like MD was alcohol. good for a while. I imagine what? acid a little bit. You yeah. can't. Oh, yeah, like, but... Uh, yeah, 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 okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But like, when we were younger, no one was really into like drugs and shit. It was all just piss. Yeah, you know, yeah, and and only like the rich older people mm. like, could afford like coke. You know, you do pingers every now yeah. and then. But because we, you're, how old are you guys? Thirty-three. Oh, he comes I'm thirty-two. You, you would have you would have been so like year ten, eleven when you're hearing about Red Mitzi's killing cunts, and you're like, I want one of those. Yeah, so, like, <laughs> yeah exactly. All right, how many caps have you done in one night? Oh, I, I, I personally uh, caps caps. I actually had a bit of a. I get a bit of a, a sort of almost like a Vietnam War sort of ooh, no good flash back dude, when I, I think that too now. When, when, when I think about that, dude, that's like, exactly no, what it's, it's, mean, it's, it means. It's it's happened from a bit of an obscure reason. It's not it. it's not like yes, I've had some bad come downs and shit, um, but uh, this was a motherfucker. The, this house party we were in Canberra, and then they were like, "Do you want to go to a party?" I'm like, "Yeah." So he's like, all right, now we're in New South Wales now. I was like, wait, what? But, you know, just tripping. It, it was not far. I was like, oh, 10 minutes across the border. I was like, wow, I'm going to flip out already. And, uh, and then uh, this motherfucker who's having the party, he's just wearing his mum's dress, walking around his mum's dress. He's an MDMA dealer, right? And he's got all the shit. And he, I remember <laughs> I'm, sitting, I I'm sitting there and I'm watching these cunts fucking huff vodka or something, puffing the liquid vodka with a pump, a foot pump and huffing it. And I'm like, what's going on? Cunt standing in the doorway wearing his mum's dress. He's just looking at me and, he's just <laughs> and he just pulls it a fucking rock of MDMA, right? About about that big, like a fist, and just like just like it's an apple in the schoolyard. Here, so oh. <laughs> oh. And just oh and, 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 and it had, it had a very dress. similar crunch, you know, oh. to, to the apple in his mouth. And I, I'm getting them now, man. I get these fucking like, oh, you know, like goosebumps, man. Like literally. Me, so I, and then he died. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I had to bury him in his mum's dress, actually. Yeah. It was a bit embarrassing. <laughs> 
<laughs> Holy fuck! Yeah, there you that, go. But like, what a sight to see this freak wearing a fucking dress. It stuck with me, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah. What was he like after that? Was well, he like yeah, fuck? After that, he come over. And his, pa- his family On had this. Press. His family had this massive, real like, full size pool table, really impressive one. And he comes over with his dress and his texture. He's like, fucking sign it. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, where? On the felt cunt. And I'm like, oh, you old boys, bull table. He's like, and I'm like, I'm like go to do it. He's like, no, no, I'm fucking no. <laughs> Big one. <laughs> I'm like, all right, you got it, cunt. <laughs> Have a dick in there for good measure as well. Big cock in there as well. Um, but yeah, that, so don't do MDMA. Um, don't do that much yeah, anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you guys, you guys fucking, you got, I do find my Queensland shows would go off because you can't just fucking love drugs. You can't, yeah. Oi, oi. And I will say, yeah, there's, there's people ask me. The, yeah. I'd love to see how many oh. drugs there are. Right, to, if we could, to get everyone to put all of their drugs on the floor. <laughs> I bet you there's fucking, there would be so many drugs here. I, I'd say you guys, you guys, and, and it's pretty good, it's pretty good effort to be in competition with like Melbourne for drug, drug. But yeah. you guys are, it's you two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking <laughs> fly on the flag, go. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah, no, but that's that's my uh, that's my story there, the Ben Cousins one. Yeah, no, um, that's good. I'm sure, be thrilled with me sharing that. <laughs> <laughs> so, when did you? Was there a moment like you knew that you were like funny? Like, was there a, like? A, so you said that I was gay. I was like, <laughs> am, I, am I gay? Well, that too. Well, now, that, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, why not? <laughs> Uh, oh, like, sorry, you, you know, going was, through high school, yeah. like primary okay, school. Okay, people ask Do you remember, that. like, yeah, yeah, like starting mm. to make people laugh and thinking, fuck, that's like, that's no, really And fun. did you ever make a teacher cry? No, I didn't. I watched another. I watched another couple of boys make a teacher cry, and okay. I, I was I was a little uncomfortable with it. But yeah, but yeah. yeah. Raping, huh? I kicked her in the head when she was like, yeah, but um, no, I. Um, <laughs> Um, no, um, no, what was your, what was your initial question? Um, the, the when did you know? The teacher crying thing really affected me. When, um, when did you know you Oh, were yeah. Like People often ask me, uh, when that, and then when that is, and yes, I guess in hindsight, I was somewhat, um, did he, what did he do to pull his cock out? We yeah, saw yeah, a bum. We just saw a bum. Yeah, very impressive. <laughs> He's a fucking... S- <laughs> 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 um, sorry, the, now the cock's throwing me off. <laughs> um, <laughs> Same, yeah. and I, I knew... I, I, I knew I didn't think I was funny per se. I knew I would. I knew people would say, say to me, "Ah, oh, you're a funny little cunt," you know, in school. But I, I wouldn't go. I wouldn't think in my head, oh, "I'm funny." I, I used to think I'm good at talking to people, and then I was able to talk it to everyone. I never judged. I never was like, "I'm not talking to those guys that wear makeup, or whatever it might be." I never did that. I was always talking to them, and and you know, I felt feel that weaponized me in a way that it opened up me up to a whole, ready me for the world as well as a different you know people, different people's opinions, aspects. I don't know whatever they're situation is i wasn't judging i was willing to listen and talk and just treat normally and that's probably the difference that stood out more than being people funny. skills are key yeah yeah fucking oath they are yeah, yeah. you don't need yeah. unis and shit eh? yeah yeah no nah, that's oh. fucked up no nah. no I, I did go skills. to uni too i went to uni i did a fucking master's oh, sorry, it's teaching. Okay. i'm a teacher i went to did teaching oh yeah i did half a teaching degree oh, yeah. as well. Mate, it fucking it was like i had to fucking just like go and do like a master's course where it was like i was the only cunt in there that was under like 35 and um uh, they were all sort of like m- mums that had gone out and had a kid and um time. you know came, they'd, they'd, they'd maybe got time to get back to work or whatever whatever it might have been what a change of career it was all those sort of people so and i so i couldn't just go in there and just be like who had pills in her threes <laughs> on the weekend <laughs> <laughs> you know but i wanted to fucking you say that yeah, because they're just all looking at their something. favorite soups and shit I'm like, yeah, nah well, that's just gonna kill the mood if i go talking about penguins marty goes yeah. to uni goes there for six months then doesn't quit for the whole term now he has to pay off the whole uni yeah, degree text that is so fucked and he didn't even go to it just because yeah. he couldn't be fucked making a yeah, call the, making that email is something that i regret. that stings you the, yeah oh, i'm, I'm constantly paying effort. for little things that yeah, they know yeah, people yeah, will not be fucked doing people like me yeah. <laughs> Bunch yeah. of my fu- yeah, it's you, my parents should have told me to do that. Yeah, I well, I, I think I did tell you a few times. Yeah, but you're like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, then right. we'd laugh at the fact that you were paying for it but not going. Yeah, it, it and then funny it stung him like two years ago. Did, did you learn he, anything? I had to pay like not 50k. Really, no. Didn't learn anything. Didn't learn anything. I did a prac. Yeah. I did, I did, when, you know how they make you do the month where you have to go to work at a school? Mm, yes. Yeah. I did that. Yeah, I, I did that too. And man, that's that, yeah. fucked. It was, it was full on, man, because I was in the same situation. Because you don't get paid either. You don't get paid. And like I hid in the library. I actually, I didn't realise I was hiding in the special needs room. <laughs> like, but, 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 and, and so like, 
And so like, I'm hiding out there because this, it was this spot in the library where the teachers didn't fucking really go that far into it to look where I was. If I was off saying if I was off doing something, not in class, I'd be there. I'm a teacher for fuck's sake. And um, I'm hiding out there. And then one day this like this, te- this like teacher comes in with like this couple of motherfuckers, you know. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, what? <laughs> what's going I'm on? I'm like, meeting this someone is else. The, this, this, this is a room, like special needs room. Like, for, like we use this. I'm like, oh, we haven't been here. Like, like now nah, well, there's like every. She just said, I belong here. Like, like, no, like, no, I'm a student. <laughs> like, I'm not. I need help. Gun. I'm special needs. Yeah, it's gun. Yeah, I remember doing the fucking social science, uh, society environment fucking uh, topic where I was having to teach the kids about say no to drugs and everything and then I remember just going having the fattest pipe in the car right after <laughs> in the car but <laughs> it was the sweetest one ever you know after saying it's not good then you gone. hypocrite <laughs> 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 have you ever nearly died um I had you know in, when I was in Edinburgh for my 30th birthday in August I was in Scotland for the Edinburgh Fringe Festival and I I got so much fucking coke and it was this good, pure Spanish shit that was so pure, fucking makes your heart skip. And so for that reason, my housemate, Daniel Muggleton, another comedian, he just like every day, just over my 30th weekend, because I was just by myself doing coke. And he just like poke his head in and be like, you're dead, yeah, no, yeah, okay. <laughs> and, and then I, and then I, I went to say, on the last day we were there, I said I went to the fucking, I went to the shops, I was trying to find you like a Hallmark card that said thanks for checking if I was OD. <laughs> but there was not one. <laughs> they don't have cards for that. They should. Yeah, they if you're a news agent, that. you should start talking, having cards that say thank you for making sure I didn't know that. Because it's important. Yeah, yeah. Or oh, there's friends that need to do it. And oh, yeah, he's been up to get ups, bro. Like I feel like I missed the memo. Like this cunt's been cutting bodies up and well, shit. Well, like, like, like that normally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought yeah, it was yeah. raining. Is oh that, yeah, I thought that was a real baby. Can't okay, because it was a real baby before. Yeah, it could out be the, out the back. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, we, <laughs> oh, yeah there was a real baby. Yeah, a real yeah, one, yeah. Yeah. Hell. they flip. It's the reality. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wearing something similar. Oh fucking hell! So what are your um? So what are your deal? So because we have our parents hated what we did when we started. Mm. Do you, what, what do your parents think about everything? Well, my parent, my 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 parents are drug, both drug and alcohol doctors. So my, my father is a specialist in South... Was a specialist, retired now. Oh, in wow, South so Australia, he's fully smart as for the heroin pa- For the heroin epidemic of the 90s, he faced more so. Um, but they, they... You know what? Oddly, I'd have other pa- I'd have other people that would... The parents would be like, what are you doing filming videos for? Don't do it. Don't even do it in my fucking house, kid. Yeah. Like, I'm doing... You know, don't do it on a weekend. You don't want to see that shit. But my dad was... He, he bought me the things I needed. Yeah, he's like, yeah, have a camera, you know, yeah, yeah, that. I'm so he's like, oh, bag of coke, all right, if you need, you know, like whatever, <laughs> whatever, you th- whatever you think. You know, when I was 16 or whatever, you know, he was he was supportive. He was he always, you know, was like, you know, you just do a backup thing. So I had that's what the teaching was, uh, which yeah, what, so what it would be, yeah, 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 like you know, safe. It's a good safe backup, you know. Yeah. Um, so that that was pretty much. He was probably on the more supportive side, which I'm very thankful for because very easily could someone who's had that background and you know, private schoolboy scholarship bullshit would go no none of that especially when all his fucking friends that went to science boys their kids now are like fucking biomechanical engineers at oxford uni and yeah. he's like oh shoot he's smoking bongs <laughs> <laughs> smoked 30 the other day actually yeah. <laughs> in one <laughs> thrill <city. Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's your drug of choice what do you like weed, to do just wade bro wade 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Weed. Wait, you lucky motherfuckers with thing, the, the med- med- medicinal you, thing Oh, yeah. and and fuck you! Every single kind of when I'm like looking for cones on Insta, that it's like, just move to Queensland, bro. Medicinal. It's like, oh fuck, it's that easy, can't fuck you, can't <laughs> rub it, it sure in. Just can't. But well, it, it really, a lot, obviously, a lot of people have made that choice. So I wouldn't even consider weed a drug anymore. It's yeah. just, it's a, it's no. a natural it's herb. It's, it grows. It, and and yes, uh, you know, yes, yes, combusting plant matter into your lungs uh, is cancerable. But um, but you know, but you can vape the shit and maybe stick it up your asshole. There's yeah, other ways exactly that are like right. exactly not right. Do edibles, that. And it's, edibles. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's right. Yep. Um. Where do you guys like to insert? Inside the cereal. That's not yeah, quick so, small it's talk, like is it? In, <laughs> in, in the lift. Yeah. yeah. In the lift. Uh, um, if you had to, if if this is a weird question, yeah, but we but just like to ask you. Oh yeah, more, more weird questions. Go if you had to question. fuck, marry, kill me, Michael, Matt, <laughs> let's hear it. Be mindful of your choices. I'd, I'd <laughs> probably, I'd, you know, you, obviously you guys have that pairing together, the Marty and Michael thing. So I would probably. 
Um, I would probably have to make one of I'd probably kill one of you first and make the other one watch and cry and I'd get <laughs> oh, I'd so fucking dumb. just probably whack into that. Yeah, he, I don't care whose tears, one of them. Um, uh, you, you, you know, you're you're a friend as well, and you've come and you've come on here to hold the baby and um, uh, have the butch out for you. So I reckon, I reckon, I reckon, yeah, I reckon I want to get to know you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Kids are essential. That's the first time anyone's ever seen uh, Marry her, that fuck's not daddy. <laughs> <laughs> and you will marry me. <laughs> this Saturday by noon. Um, no, yeah, yeah. No, that, that's hot. There's more of that shit. Yeah, yeah, no, well, that, yeah that's, that's, that answers <laughs> that. That's beautiful. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is fun. It's a fun show. Right. Good on you, cunts. So if I can... Yeah, it's it. <laughs> Hurrah for us! Hooray for us! All right, I wanted to find out this. Hang okay, on. I've got a vendetta against Star Wars. Oh, okay. okay. I, are you, yeah. are you like keen hey, wait, on... Just a second. Hands up who if you like Star hates Wars. Star Wars. I like Star Wars. Yeah, there it's is a shit. few. See, I it's thought we were shit. the only ones. Do you like that shit? I, 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 can, I can speak for both sides of that um, spectrum, if you will, because I was... I can almost say it was inspirational to me instead of me getting the movies and the one to film and played that sort of effect on me, being shown it by the, the school care guy who turned out to be a pedophile. That's another story. Did he really? Yeah, he got done. He got How done. Did you his, know? Got, did you just see it on no, the news? No, no, no. He never, he never fucking, he never fucking did, did anything to me or my brothers or anything. But like, he got caught years after. Oh, it was about, it was about. And I'd, I'd worked there for the, that Osh as well and everything, you know. Like, you know, I'd fucking, I've been there since I was year one, you know, a tiny little kid. And um, he, there was a sting, you know, the, about the eight years after high school where they, they pretended to be chicks, the cops. Oh, so I was pretending wow. to be kids, you know, like, and, and they, got, they got a couple of locals. And really? He, and he, yeah. And then, he, he, got, and then he, got done, he, got, he got repeat offender. He went and wrote a weird short story about raping kids or something like that after. And he got, he got he, yeah, after he got out for the, the first. And so I got, and, and that's, that's really weird for me to even process and think about. Yeah, yeah that is fucked. Wasn't. That's the pedo alarm. Fuck, there's one in here. Whoa, whoa. That's me. Um. <laughs> Is that real life? I thought that was part of the show. Oh, oh my god, guys, apparently the vaping has set off the fucking smoke alarms. And honestly, this is... That's so fucking gold, cunt. <laughs> <laughs> you feral fuck. Uh, Apparently, everyone Boy, I need to, all in a puff. Uh, we all have to evacuate the building. Oh. It's only temporary, though. No. Uh, apparently we have to evacuate everyone. This is temporary though. Don't worry, we'll fix this. Hey everyone! We're you dumb fucking cuz! You fucking idiots! You fucking idiots. Fucking idiots. Oh, my oh my god! god. Oh. I can't you believe so you dumb. believe that! You are so dumb. You are so dumb. Holy shit! Each and every one of you. As if we'd have a smoke alarm go off. We've disabled them all. Oh my god! But it is intermission though. So everyone can go buy some merch, have a piss, buy a beer. We're back in 15 minutes, guys, so fuck off if you want to. Oh, so easy. It is now time for Manscaped. <sighs> Look, I'm, 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 I'm not so much angry. I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm more worried than anything, okay? You're just, you're not, you're not getting it. <laughs> Are ya? Every week you sit there and you listen to what I have to say and still nothing gets done. You think, oh, I'll worry about it later. It's not so bad right now. Oh, I'm not that fat. Oh, I'm not that hairy. One more bad meal, 10 more beers. It doesn't matter. Okay, I'll start this tomorrow. Well, let me tell you something. Okay. All you have is today. If you don't start today, you will die. Time is going fast. It's going to speed up and keep going. You need to go to manscaped.com.
and see what they have. It's the only way to fix you. It's the only way. Look at him. It's the only way to fucking look at you, man. Our discount code, fully actual 20. You get 20% off. You can go and fix yourself up. Go and make yourself look presentable. It has to be today. It has to be right now. Now is all that matters. Fucking lazy cunt again. You sit there and you think, oh, he makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense what he's saying. I'll do it next time. No! Do it now. Do it now. Save yourself. Stop the decline. Stop the decline. Okay. Also for women. All right. Everybody who watches the podcast knows that we have one special segment that is very close to one of our cast members' hearts. His name is Matthew Gregory Brown. And this segment is called Bachelor Brown. And if you've been watching, there's been many ups, many downs, definitely many downs. He is a fucking freak. Matt, you're a fucking freak. But tonight we have two finalists and this bachelor will finally be coupled up with his partner in crime. Can't. So Matt, what I need you to do is, I need you to close your fucking eyes. Just block them. Freak. All right, our two bachelorettes. Could you please come to the stage? Here we go, Matt. Make some noise. Come closer to me, Matt. Come here. Let, come here. <laughs> all right, Matt. I won't lie. I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> all right. So, as you all know, this has been a segment. It's, it's become a bit stale at the end of the season, let's be honest. But here we are. And Matt's been on like 35 dates with our bachelorettes. And sitting on the other side of that wall are the top... Sorry two selections aren't they matt well yeah, yeah. <laughs> look so how awkward he is <laughs> matt doesn't know which of his top five are over there okay so Ju so matt's going to ask some questions we're going to give them a chance to answer each question and then matt will finally decide who his life partner is forever they will be moving into his house hey, well. yes this is pretty much married at first sight. They're not Matthew. moving. Matthew. They're Matt. not moving. We'll talk about it. Yeah, we're giving them the room. We'll talk about it later. All right, Matt. Let's... Here we go. Your first question to your future partner for life. What, do I, what do I say? I can't even see him. Ex that's the point. That's the fucking point, Matt. Matt. Do is value looks, Matt. So we've done this on purpose. What do I to ref refer to them as? What do you mean? Person one <laughs> and person two. Oh, thank I you, will Julian. Question? Fuck you, Matt. <laughs> Just ask a question, like like something that would make you want to be with that person forever. Like give them a scenario, fucking ask them if they'd suck you off under a bridge. I know that's important to you. Um, uh, person Sorry. number one? Fucking idiot. We are under a bridge right now. Sorry. Oh, we are yeah, we are the story bridge. All right, first question is... Right. Person number one. Um... What is your ideal date with me? God. Person number one? Under a bridge giving you a BJ. Whoa! <laughs> oh my Holy God. shit! Oh my that was God, man. That wasn't me, Matt. That, that was is a wife! <laughs> All right, that wasn't too bad. All right, what does contestant number two say? All right. Contestant number two, what is your ideal date with Matthew Gregory Brown? Oh, fuck. Um, <laughs> um, huh? Fuck. Oh, You're going to have to me. suck him off as well, I think. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, I'll suck you off. You're a good sloppy knobby, eh? Dude, okay. that's sexy. There seems to be a lot of fellatio happening here, but... You got fucking Ethan in? <laughs> oh, yeah, someone yelled it out. You gave it away. Yeah, yeah. Ethan look, is hot. Ethan like, is seriously, he's sexy. Right. It's a different Ethan. Yeah. How did you actually feel about hearing a man's voice just in his number two? He does have a little quarter chub through his fucking overalls, doesn't he? All right, question uh, number two, Matt. All right, let's get this done. 
Um, all right, if we were going overseas, where would you like to go? Oh. Who do you want to go first, person one or person two? Person one. Okay. Probably to Venice. I've got some nice bridges there. Whoa. <laughs> Common theme is bridges, Matt. Not bad. Thoughts? Oh. All right, that's enough. Person number two. I would actually like to take you on a nice holiday, Matt. I'll take you to Bali. Oh, Bali, Matt loves No Bali. one's done that. All the no <laughs> one's ever done that. All the prostitutes there, Matt, eh? Oh, yeah. Hey, oi, oi, that's not in Bali. That's in Thailand, as I fucking showed before. But anyway, who's... Oh, man. Sorry. Ethan, Bali. So make sure you're so considering shit. these answers as we go along, all right? So you've got person one, person two. Question number three, Brown. If I was going to propose to you, what would your be ideal proposal? If you well, were going to... If I was going to do it, what would you like? What would you be... What would you be happy with? Yeah. Are you asking what the bare minimum is that you can... <laughs> what the f You're a pig, Matthew! <laughs> Oh, a ring? All right, do you want me to ask that? Or do you yeah, want to yeah, think of another one? Really yes. Ask it, Fuck. Yeah. Okay, person number one, what would your ideal proposal be from Matthew Gregory Brown? Obviously under a bridge. Okay, there seems to be a lot of fucking That's bridges where we are. happening. Um, Holy shit. Person number two, please do not say anything about a fucking bridge or I will cut my upper thighs. I've been there. Under a concrete bridge after, after a blowjob. That's a pretty good answer. Okay. All right, so all you have to do is take them under a bridge and toss them a ring and they'll get engaged to you. Is there any person you want to get to know deeper or, like, ask anything more intricate than right, these question, fucking shit questions? Talk about the Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings, yeah. Uh, that is a really good question. Extended right, um, Last question, man. Here we all right, go. person one. Have you seen Lord of the Rings? Have. What have. the fuck, Matt? <laughs> have you seen Lord of the Rings? No, but I'm willing to watch. Ooh! Oh. Still shit, Matt, you f this is why you get bullied, honestly. Can you, okay, just for me, can you please come up with a question that's just like a bit like edgy, bit Wait, dirty? What's person two say to the Lord of the Rings? Okay. It's important to Ext Matt. Make sure it's extended cut. <laughs> Fuck no. This is more of a question for Michael. All right, come on, just for me, one more question, a bit more intricate, a bit more dirty, something that, I don't know. Lord of the Rings, Matt? Talk about sex. It's important. It's important. All right, last question, man. Here we go. Dig deep. Really, something that really tells us something about you. All right, what, um, person one, what is your star sign? Fuck you, Matt. Honestly, Matt, fuck you. Suck shit. Sorry. Sorry. Like, that's straight up sorry. Oh, my God. I'll sorry, say bro. sorry. Is that, is that your final answer? That is. We oh all express God. love in different ways, everyone, okay? This is Matt's way of asking. Star okay. Be okay. Very important. Person number one, what is your fucking star sign? I'm an Aquarius. Yuck. Aquarius. All right, uh, person number two, what's yours? Uh, Taurus, I think, is it? Taurus. Yeah, yeah, cool. That's yeah. what I Taurus. Yeah. Taurus yeah. and an Aquarius. All right, a lot Matt, of asses. You have your answers. It is now time to choose your final partner from the whole fucking season of Can dates. we get a drum roll? It's a must fuck. And the winner for The uh, Bachelor Brown is... The winner is... Oh, for is, fuck's sake. Listen, How dare listen, you? listen to him. The winner is... No, no, actually talk over him. <laughs> fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. Say sorry. I have chosen a bachelorette. Oh, okay. But it is not one of these two. <gasps> Who is it then? Dude. Greg Smith was tempting. Greg Smith is He's very always yeah, tempting. I, like, I, I would have chosen This Greg. isn't in the script. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> He's not around. He is. When, um, when we were doing our Bachelor Brown segment, one of my ex-girlfriends actually That we organised. Oh, fucking... You're talking about Leah. And Leah? Leah. All right. And um, we actually went on a date, and I actually said it on the podcast, but you guys didn't react, so I left it. But I've actually been seeing her ever since. All right. Okay, look. Look. Ooh. As fucked as that is. 
I want to fucking hit you so bad right Matt now. Matt has still chosen one of the bachelorettes that we have organised. We did it. So, the segment was a success. Matt is now dating one of the Bachelor Brown ladies. Hurrah! We did it! So, Hooray! I, so, we've been dating, but I haven't, really, I haven't really asked her if she'd be my girlfriend yet, so... Oh! Ask her now. Yeah. She's... Whoa! Where is she? She's actually here. Where is she? There she is in the corner there. there. Pointing to my mum, fuck you! <laughs> Tracy! Yeah, Tracy's hot. Tracy's so hot. <laughs> Come no, on, no, hey, Tracy. mum, fuck off! <laughs> no, no, no! Finger her! Sit Julian, down! Stop trying to Finger kiss her! her. Sit down. Stop trying Fucking to kiss her, cry. Julian! I came out of that. All right, Julian, would you mind telling our Sorry. two people on that side that they've both been horrifically rejected by okay. 200 people? All right, yeah, person one, that. person one, I am so sorry, but it's just not going to work out. Person two, fuck off. <laughs> by the way... Hey, Mum. Put your number in. There you go, guys. All right, sweet. Matt, you are so dumb. Do you want to see who you said no to? I do. It'd definitely be Isla. Oh, Isla. Well, there you go, lads. Isla is still single and on the market. There oh. you go. All right, Ethan. <laughs> Ethan, <laughs> fuck off. Look at, no, no, Ethan's hot. Ethan's hot. Yeah, there you might go. Put yeah, a bit of a kiss, maybe. Everybody make some noise right for thing. the Bachelorette. <laughs> that's oh, like, thank God that segment is over and now Matt has a partner, so we can all move on happily, can't we? So what are we so going to do next season? Uh, we're going to have to just find someone for him to cheat on her with. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, I'm just kidding. All right, next segment. As most of you know, this is episode 40, and every 10 episodes, Matt receives oh, a brand no. new chair. Oh, yes. All right, so Julian, would, if you wouldn't mind taking Matt... Off the fucking stage! Yeah, fuck. Get outside! Go, go, go. We're going to set Matt's new chair up live in front of you all. Oh, wow. I'm excited for this. All right, James, come on over. Let's quickly Make sure he's outside. Okay. You can look at me in the meantime. Wait, everybody make some noise for James's biceps, by the way. James, flex, flex. Yes! They're Show fucking the, huge. Make some noise Show for this. Gut. Do this. Do that. Do James, that, James. Show us your abs. Should, Should, we, Should we get James. Michael to vomit on it? Yeah. Yes, vomit. Vomit, everyone. Good boy, James. This will be his chair. All right, everybody. God, that smells Sorry. so bad. It's Sorry Matt. about that. Can All I right. bring him in a bit? Bring Matt in, but cover his eyes as he comes in. I feel kind of mean. I feel a bit sick. <laughs> Just walk forward. I'm oh, having him, technically. Right. <laughs> Come on over here, man. All right, uh, place sucks. him in front. I'm so excited. All right, mm. Matt, keep your eyes closed. Julian's about to remove his hand. Oh, God. A three, two, one, remove the hands and open your eyes. It's your new chair! <laughs> but you don't have to sit on the vomit. The you can just sit on... You so you've got the babies cushion. and shit. Is naked once. Yeah, yeah, no, it's no not vomit. No clothes man. anymore, man. Matt, I'm so sorry. I had no idea that was going to happen, man. Sorry. But we thought it'd be good, like it's like good for your back and shit to sit on the ground. Oh, it's it's sort of sexy. Well, the Shut up, Mike. Ma Matt, the people who usually sit on this are in the age group that you like. So I was thinking, maybe, you know, connect to the roots. That's a pedophile joke. It is a pedophile joke. <laughs> yes. 
Nah, straight up. All straight right. up. Oi, oi, oi. You're my brother, brother. Serious. All right, let, let's just let Matt get used to his new chair. Sit oh, in the centre. Like shit. Yeah, yeah. He could sit in the centre. Sorry about that, Matt. So oh, what do you, what do you think, Matt? What do you think of the new chair? Fuck you. Wait, is, do, but do you think it's better than the milk stool? Or on no, the milk stool relax. is nice. It's an actual chair. You can relax now. Look, you can you lie, lie down. down. Look at you lounging I'll, I'll like look, a lizard. I'll hang out with you a bit. Look at that. I'm so jealous of you. Shut up. Right now. This is so good. This it's is so such covered a in good vomit. chair, dude. Yeah, that's it. And look, you've got an abacus and your oh. favourite Barbies. You got Barbies. That song is how we entice What's your abs? name? <laughs> I'm just so upset because I have to do 10 episodes of this. Yeah. But uh, you, at least you get a break and the vomit will dry by season one, by episode one, season five. Ash is quite comforting sitting down. Yeah, with I told you. Above you. I had a feeling you liked that one. He's flirting with the crowd. What the fuck is that? <laughs> anyway, all right, guys. Look, that's the new chair. It's it's every ten episodes, and uh, there you go. There's cars, I think, too. You can. Do all right, on what the do we tracks. got next over there? All right, <laughs> all right, guys. Matt, can you move over a little bit? I feel, feel like you're sick, so far eh? away. Fucking hell. Just like avoid the vomit. Yeah, that wasn't me. <laughs> I was already like that. It's, yeah, second hand. All right, guys. As you all know, maybe, Mother has sponsored a brand new segment. Last episode, they didn't want us... They hated what we did. It was too fucked up. All right. So your confessions were just too fucked up for them. So the new... Do you have the $500? Mm. So the new segment is two lies and one truth. So we're all going to tell you a story about us and then we're going to leave it to you to guess which one is the truth. And if you can guess it right, you win $500 for bags. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's, yeah. That's really good. All right, so Julian, once we pick someone, run the mic to them and s let's see if anyone can get it right first. Let's go. do it. All right, so this is sponsored by Mother. So drink Mother energy drinks. Cut that, Connor. Cut that, Connor. Do not, we, we only say this for the money, but please don't ever cut that, Connor. Cut that, Connor. Cut that Connor. Please cut There's that, Connor. There's Connor there. Make some noise for Connor. Connor, stand up, Connor. Stand, stand up, up Connor. Stand up, Connor. Why? Yeah! yeah. Rise! So, Michael, you go first. So, this could be a truth or a lie. No one knows. All right? Okay. I, I remember it. Okay, good. What is it? <laughs> uh, when I was an Uber driver, as I was an Uber driver, <laughs> I did 10,500 trips and I got oh, in the Queensland that. paper. I was oh, number shut one. Shut up, I dude. had the highest rating. Highest rating. Yeah, dude, you say this Queensland. nearly every week. Anyway, that's my claim to fame. I, um, and this is many stories, but I used to, I know I hit a, a family of ducks. The whole crew <laughs> died like, instantly. What, all of them died? No, well, I, re I didn't stop because I had a passenger. <laughs> Wonder what started. But no, you I've hit, like, I've actually killed a family of ducks accidentally. With your bare hands? No, with the car. Accidentally with your bare Camry. hands? It was a Camry. It was a hired car. All right, so <laughs> the first thing is Michael ran over a family of ducks while Ubering. Mine is I urinated in a cinema and whilst urinating, I got caught by one of the staff there. <laughs> okay, that's mine. Matt, uh, here's yours. Top one there. What's your name? <laughs> My lungs are... So Matt's is, <laughs> so Matt's is my lungs are <laughs> Could be a truth. Imagine a, a lung <laughs> All right, let's, let's see, oh. hands up. Who wants to have a fucking crack at $500? Can you give him your, uh, come up here, fuck it. Come on stage. Fuck it, come up here. That was his friend. All right, Josh, so out of, out of what you heard then. Michael That's hitting okay. family ducks, me pissing in a cinema and getting caught, Matt's lungs are c Which one is the truth? This is for $500. I have that in my hand. Z. All right, Josh. My lungs are c Oh! 
Oh, that is such a... I love so it. Close. Like, it's that's what he I just, would do. He just sacrificed. It's oh. the truth, remember? You he didn't even get truth. a laugh. Oh, I thought it was a lie. <laughs> I thought it was a lie. Josh didn't read the Fuck off, Josh. Fuck off. Josh, you fucking... not read the instructions. Josh. <laughs> Josh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. He had to go. He had to go. In fact, Josh, come here. Come here. Have a free shirt, man. Well done. There you go. All right, next. Michael, do you want to pick someone? Yeah, I do. Remember, you're picking the truth out of those three. All right. Yeah, come in here, Bree. All right, give her a mic. Here you go. All right, all right, here we go. All right, Bree. So which one out of those three is the truth? Can you go again? Come on, Bree. Uh, yep, Michael, what's yours? So I, I, I took out a family of ducks. There were ducks. Not a f they were a family of ducks. And Just you killed them. Just little baby ducks. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, I'm gonna say true or dare. Yeah, but then his, but you got to guess. I pissed in a cinema. <laughs> yeah. And got caught during that. In a cinema. In a cinema, yeah. Cinema. <laughs> Killing and Matt's? ducks. Wait, 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 Listen wait. To and it's then Matt, have you have you heard Matt? It's clearly not my lungs are <laughs> spree. All right, I got this. I got this. My lungs All right. Are very good. So so which is the truth? You did take out a whole of, of I ducks. Took the, I, I actually aimed for them. No, you... It was my, an accident. It actually is a lie, everyone. No! Oh, we got Bree! She didn't win. Oh, it goodness. seems like something he would do. I've seen... Should we get a third person who might or may third get person, it? all right. Julian, you pick. Pick one of our best friends, Julian. All right, what's your name, buddy? Lama. What the fuck is Dane. this? Dane. All right, we got Dane here. All right, Dane, which out of those three is the truth? My ten. Yes, Dane. he's correct. You Dane, it. you get Dane $500. wins five hundred dollars. Thanks to Mother Energy Drinks. Make some noise for Dane, everybody. Come you on. Did it, Dane. Woo! It's vomit all over my hand. Vomit all over my hand. Sorry. Oh. I think he's on drugs. All right, guys. There you go. Five hundred dollars. Thanks to Mother. Hand. Drink it as much as you can. Moving right along to a, some podcast favorites. What's it's that time mean? For on this day, diaries, and of course the conclusion of Matt's black book. Wait, <laughs> mm. <laughs> wait. I wanna. I love. I fucking love All right. Too, That's my vomit hand. On. Oh, yeah. Should we? Oh, no. We can't. Fuck. Yeah, we so can't you do that here. Breaks, but anyway. It's oh, a yeah. good thought, though. <laughs> all right. On this day, as you all know, Matt comes in really early and he researches, like, a historic event that happened on this day in history. And they're very interesting. Very interesting, aren't they, Matt? You put a lot of effort into these. Anyway. Fucking say something. Say no. sorry. So, anyway. Thank you. On this day, in 1990, the Wiggles brutally assaulted Captain Feathersword during a bender. It's believed an argument broke out between the purple cunt Jeff that sleeps heaps and Captain Feathersword when Captain Feathersword was flirting with Dorothy the Dinosaur. Jeff had just swirled a few points of meth to try and stay awake and started feeling jealous. Do Dorothy had slept with every Wiggle member except for Jeff, and Jeff felt that tonight should be his turn. Jeff confronted Captain Feathersword and told him to fucking back off. Captain Feathersword backed up straight away and said, I don't want any trouble, Jeff. She's yours. Dorothy pushed Jeff away and said, I don't do purple. <laughs> Jeff lost control and King hit Captain Feathersword. The other Wiggles ran in and started stomping Captain Feathersword. They beat him senseless and ripped all his clothes off. They fractured his skull and punched out all of his teeth, even his wisdom teeth. They gouged one of his eyes out and then pissed out, pissed in the eye socket. Captain Feathersword was never the same. He survived but suffers from severe mental health issues. My name is Matt Brown and I would like to ask everyone to please stand with me and share a moment's silence for Captain Feathersword. Just a moment's silence, please, guys. Remember That's him. Can't believe that Remembrance happened. Day today, too. Can't believe that happened. It's a uh, two, bir two birds, one stone. Sorry. Shut up. Oh, thank you, guys. Everyone may be seated. 
That's crazy, man. Yeah, sorry about that. All right, guys. Um, as you know, sometimes I just read out random diary entries from my, when I was a little German boy uh, with a massively long neck. My neck made up about 80% of who I am. And uh, I just found another one randomly the other day. All right. The entry number 189,454,848. Yeah. <laughs> This time. <laughs> Michael forgets We're to talk into the mic. That's so <laughs> Anyway, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Straight up, yuck. Mum and Dad said bikes are a waste of money. So today I built myself a bike with my imaginary friend, Gunter. We tied some cardboard on top of two rocks. Then I put a stick at the front as my handlebars. Me and Gunter dragged my bike to the top of a big hill and got on the bike. Are you ready, Gunter? I said. Gunter said, you go first, Martin, and I will help you if something goes wrong. I said, okay, Gunter, and kiss him, kiss me on the cheek. I started rolling down the hill, and then things got really scary. I sped up so quickly and lost control. I screamed for Gunter's help, but he didn't help. I reached peak speed near the bottom of the hill, and my bike tore to pieces and sent me flying into a steel fence. My long neck was twisted, and I was knocked unconscious. When I woke up, I saw Gunter. He was laughing and even pissed on me. <laughs> then he ran away and I never saw my imaginary friend again. It was a pretty good day. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. Yeah, rough time, That's fucked. Mate. Yeah, that is. Yeah. That's rough. No, it's not okay. nice. All right. It's not nice what happened. All right, guys. Oh, no. Michael's Bible is full of so much wisdom. It makes me shit blood. Get ready. Bezos, Bezos, Bezos. Julian's grandfather is dead. Are you reading that, Bob? <laughs> sorry. I'm, no, no, no. Sorry, Tracy. That wasn't me. He, he, oh, my your, God. Your, your father is... But he, it's may, not her father. May he her, rest da, her dad died may fucking father, ages ago. Oh, it's not her dad. They're not worried <laughs> about it. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. Julian's granddad. But, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I think. I'm just trying sorry, to be Tracy. apologetic. You are a fucking <laughs> dude. All right. Chapter, chapter. <laughs> I am here and I can hear. I am there and I can stare. If I can, then I can't. If I shit, then I shan't. <laughs> Reading is good. Believing is bad. I have a bomb strapped to my body. Don't fuck with me, seriously, I'm unstable and I will blow everyone up right now. Just back the fuck off. Sorry, that wasn't me. Be more B. Oh, beautiful. Woo! Sorry. Beautiful. Beautiful. I thought that was Marty. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck, All man? right, guys, it's time. It's time for the most, the oh. conclusion to the most fucked segment in all of podcasts. It is time for Matt Brown's black fucking book, and he has detailed all of his sexual experiences in this book in grotesque detail. And I will now read a random excerpt out of them. Here we go. What about this part? What about that? Sorry. That bit too. Borders. <laughs> the spine of the book is important. Here What's we fucking go. Me? <laughs> That's fucked. Sit still, Matthew. I'm scared something's gonna happen. Have number 74. <laughs> it was time. It was sunrise. And I just applied a thick layer of lipstick and put on a fresh nappy. I trimmed my foreskin for extra efficiency. I stared at myself in the mirror and did some self-talking. You're the man, Matt Brown. This is your time. Take it. Take what's yours. Once I was sufficiently hyped up, I stepped outside and eagerly sniffed the crisp morning air to try and find Quest and Scent. Oh. Oh, I think I found you, Quest 
victim. I turned my back in the direction of the scent and powerfully bound backwards. I bound backwards over parked cars and even buildings as shocked onlookers stop and marvel at my athleticism. I tensed for them as I glided through the suburbs with ease. Queston's scent was getting stronger. I had bounded through to the outskirts of town and to the edges of a forest. I was close. I stopped bounding and started stalking. I silently crawled through the long grass like a large cat. I see a house just through the tree line. This must be Queston's lair. I reach the beginning of the clearing and stay in the long grass to remain hidden. I flatten my body like a blue-tongued lizard and start to observe Queston's house, which was roughly 100 metres in front of me now. I see movement at the side of the house. It's Queston. He's hanging his washing out, and the fool has his headphones on. Perfect. He won't even hear me coming. I move out of the grass and start hammering towards my target exactly like a jacked up goanna. I was closing in. 70 metres, 50 metres, 30 metres. I load my back legs and launch myself at Queston like a desperate toad. Queston was reaching up to his clothesline as my skull slams into the middle of Queston's back. I hear the air leave Queston's lungs and watch his body crumple to the floor. I stood and watched Queston squirm on the ground in pain. Oh, my, my back, my back, you cunt. I let Queston recover and get to his feet. It's time, Queston. Let's finish this. Queston stares at me and nods. We both start advancing on each other. As soon as Queston is within reach, I throw a punch straight into his gut. Queston returns fire with a punch of his own and lands it flush on my jaw. I stagger backwards as Queston charges forwards and lands a left punch right in my throat. I can't breathe and fall to the ground, and Queston immediately starts stomping my legs. I sling my arm at him and crash the palm of my hand straight through his shin bone. His shin snaps in half like a breadstick, and Queston screeches in agony. He falls down and I grab his snapped legs and start jerking it up and down down over and over again. Queston is howling in pain, but manages to sit up and throw an elbow in my face. He connects and smears my nose bone across my cheek. I drop Queston's broken leg to hold my broken nose, and Queston stands on his good leg and sinks his teeth deep into my scalp. I feel his teeth puncture my skull before feeling the skin on my head being ripped away like a cheap sticker. I uppercut Queston and toe punt his nutsack. I feel his testicles pop on impact as I drive up with my kick. Kick. I see Queston's eyes widen as he realises his nuts sack is torn, and I grab his left arm and drive my knee through his elbow joint, completely snapping his other fucking arm. Queston fires a punch with his right arm, and it dislocates my jaw. Again, I stumble backwards as a one-armed and one-legged Queston hops at me and drives his knee into my chest. I hear my ribs break when he lands and I fall back. Queston mounts me and starts to choke me with his one arm. I place both my hands on the arm he's choking me with and slowly start to twist. I twist and twist until Queston starts to scream again. I keep twisting and then rip Queston's entire fucking right arm off. He leans back in pain. I sit up and drive my thumbs deep into his eyes until my thumbs split his eyeballs in half. He's defenceless. No arms, no eyes, and only one functioning leg. I stand over him and watch him slowly die. Just please, just kill me. Queston is bleeding to death. I adjust my dislocated jaw and snap my nose bone back into the centre of my face. I was injured. A fair few broken ribs, but nothing serious. One last have before I kill you, Queston. I slide my baby mat into the hole where his arm used to be. I start slowly thrusting forwards and savouring my victory. I salivate with pleasure and let the fleas that infested my body bite me as much as they wanted. Queston had gone quiet. I look down at him and something makes me stop having. I look deep into his destroyed bleeding eyes and feel utter despair. No joy at all. Something wasn't right. This should be the greatest moment of my life. But all I feel is darkness. I extract my little brown and begin sobbing. Question, what have you done to me? Why, why am I so sad? Question weakly replies. This is what you wanted, man. I get off of Question. No, something isn't right. 
I instinctively start bounding backwards. I bound backwards the fastest I've ever gone before. I leap over rivers. I leap over mountains. And the faster I go, the clearer my mind becomes. I was missing something. I push off even harder and bound faster again. Everything becomes a blur and I bound faster again. I bound so fast that time itself stops. Then it dawned on me. I can stop what I have done by never starting it. I must turn back time to stop my father quark shift from conceiving us with my mother choir. I begin to bound even faster and I notice time slowly starts to rewind. I start bounding back through time. One year passes. Two years. Five years. Twenty years. I bound until I reach my destination. The exact moment when Queston and I are being conceived. Suddenly I stop bounding and I'm standing in the bedroom of our old family home. Mum is laying with her legs spread on the bed and my father is standing over her with a clearly throbbing little brown. They are both drunk. Absolutely wasted drunk. Before my father jams his meat cylinder into my mother, another man enters the bedroom. It's me. Past me. And I'm also completely smashed and holding a tolly. To my utter horror, I watch me go and stand next to my dad. Then we both start having my mother. What? How can this be? I thought me and Question were twins. I watch on as me and my father completely destroy my mother's slit in a drunken stupor. Then I see the most horrific thing that I've ever witnessed. My father pulls out and sprays his mints all over me and my mother, but I do not pull out. I fill my mother to the brim with my seed. Then it all dawns on me at once. This is the moment Question is conceived. Conceived by me. Question is not my twin brother. Question is my son. That's why I feel such despair at his dying. This whole time I've been having my son, not my brother. None of us could remember because we were so drunk over a 20 year period. I'm a father. I have to save my son. I start bounding backwards the other way, so I'm going forwards now. Time starts going forwards and I'm bounding as tears squirt from my eyes. I can't believe Queston has been my son all along. I arrive back at the present time. Queston! I'm taking you to a hospital. I pick him up and race him into town. Hang in there, Queston. He's in and out of consciousness. They take him straight into surgery and manage to save Queston's life. He was in a critical condition, permanently blind, missing an arm, and almost certainly was going to experience severe mental trauma, but he was going to make it. While waiting in that waiting room, I decided there and then that I would change my ways. I learned that there's more to life than having. Life is about loving, and I truly felt sick for the pain I had caused. I decided I will no longer keep track of my haves, so this is the last have I will ever write about. The love for my son has cured my heart and mind. I am no longer Matt Brown. <laughs> what the fuck? I am Matt Brown. Matt Brown. Transforms Matt Brown. <laughs> Unbelievable, Matt. Matt Remember Brown's when you and me beat Hitler you've been in hell? Fucking your son all along. His man. son is blind. <laughs> At least he's alive, though. You can mend bridges, I think. <laughs> wow. So there you go. That is. Uh, so that's how you came to be who you are now, right? You minced in your own mum. I'll mince in your mum in a sec. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Mints in my birthplace. Oh my god. I was born were. there. He I was born sorry, there. Sorry, I didn't mean that. Oh, 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 what do you oh, think? A little oh, bit of a mincing, oh, Tracy? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Very good. Wow, anyway, that, that is good. the end of the black book for this season. I'm sure there'll be something fucked next year that we find in his wardrobe of shit fucking weird shit skulls and corpses and shit there. Calm down. Sorry, dude. Dude, Chill, me and Maitland did a video where we were robbing your place while you guys were camping. Mm. And the amount of shit that we found in your bedside table. What was table? the worst thing you found? I can't say. No, say, say it. it. Say it, Julian. Carrots. 
Well, this is all confidential. There, there was used condoms with the knots tied and then test tube babies slowly growing inside like little sea monkeys. Yeah, for science. Uh, oh, that's true. No, good on you. Artificial. That's fair. That's Artificial. Fair. All right, guys. Comment hand. I've still lost yeah, a he's cum lost bottle. It. He genuinely had I, a cum bottle and he's genuinely lost it. Do you want to explain this, Matt? Because fuck see, me, it would have been good. See, Michael would have sculled it tonight. <laughs> We're, I genuinely thought I that you guys took it when you... Dude, me and Maitland actually looked for it. I yeah. was like, I said to Maitland, he has a bottle of cum it's that he's be been saving. Because we packed it when we, when we moved house. And it's got to uh, okay, be... Okay, what, what, what if... It was he, never even invented. Yeah, I was reckon it was bullshitting, but what if... I believe him. I believe him. If, if it did exist, what I would know. you feel like if when you, were, when you were moving that you were like so focused on it that you just left it on the table and some... It's probably you fuck... That's your vomit and you... <laughs> so, Matt, it was a 600 mil bottle, right? Yeah, it was a Coke bottle. So, how, so how full was it? Show everyone how full it was on this bottle. It's like about that's bullshit. So wait, wait no, let's hear him out. So, how many loads did it take to get you? There? The average human does five mil per load. So we kept count of the loads, and we're up to like 180. Okay, 180 loads. That's I believe fucked. him. I believe him because when he was moving house, he said he accidentally left it out on the table. Oh, I've got a photo of it. Uh, and he has a photo of it. I haven't it. got my phone, but I don't oh, have a photo. Oh, bullshit. We'll, I'll show, we'll you. show it to you guys, all right? We'll post we'll it post to it. our well, stories. I promise you, we'll post it. I've got a photo of it. You hurt me. Julian's hurt me. Dude, you rubbed your fucking vomit hand on my shirt. Just, just be with it, Julian. Look at me. I'm sitting in it. All right, guys. That's so true. <laughs> yeah. Just be one fucked. with the vomit. Now, as you all know, guys, we uh, have been running a couple of comment competitions. Sorry, the whole season. sorry about that one. And one, the comment of the week just turned into the shittest segment we've what? ever had. Yeah, I got well, it. Well, we we it's have all fault. we have the win we filmed it yesterday. We have the winners of the comment competitions. It could be any of you. Anyone that's commented on this season is in the running to win a thousand dollars right now. Should we do and comment of the doing, year first? Hey, comment of the year. Yeah, yeah. Let's do comment. Of the year first. We're well, it's play comment it on the big of the week, for you. cow. But yeah, this is double what we gave away before, which is 500. That's good math. Which dude. means now it's 1,000. That's good math, that, Michael. That's exactly heaps. right. Good math. All right, here we go. All right, everyone. It is time to announce the comment competition winners of season four. Four, four, four. Can I do a jingle for no. you? No. Okay. We have found this wheel, okay? And we've added all 39 of the comment of the week entries to it. This wheel, once pressed, will randomly select the winner of the comment of the week, making it the comment of the year. Year, 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 year. year. It is the cow, C-O-W-C, cow, moo. Fuck, yeah, you're right about not doing the jingle. <laughs> All right, everyone. Are you ready? Here we go. All right. Fuck, man. All right. I'm about to spin it. Ready? Here we go. First thousand dollars. And it goes to... It's spinning. It's spinning. It's still going. It goes to... Nine. Number nine. Read out number nine and who it's from. There it is. It's got the numbers next to it. Okay. Wade Mitchell, 72. The comment is... Is Brown feeling okay? He's looking like... The Make-A-Wish Kid. Oh! oh how that fitting. is the comment of the year. How fitting. Oh, and it's about Matt's appearance. Oh, that is so perfect. Holy shit. Well done, Wade Mitchell. I don't know how we're going to get into contact with you, but we will, all right? Wade, if you see this, please comment. And we will find you, okay? Comment your email and we will find you. But Wade Mitchell is the winner of Comment of the Year. Well done, Wade. Now it's the other comment competition. It's winner. just a shit. It's, it's yeah. Let's I can't play believe the clip you did this. Did you guys see how on. my hat was like forward then? Yeah, yeah, that was so good. Did you guys see that? How Matt Michael's hat was up? Yeah. Optical play illusion. Play anyway, play let's that. play the video. All right, guys, it is now time for comment competition number two, a competition you are all involved in if you've ever commented on any of the podcasts in season four. four, four. This is for everyone. We're in this as well. We comment on the video. So if, we, if this lands on a Marty and Michael comment, we are keeping that money. Yep. All right, first what we're going to do, I've got 
episodes 1 to 38 in the spinning wheel of destiny. I've only done up to 38 because 39's not out yet. Okay, so there's no comments on 39. And 40 obviously is this one. So we're going to spin. Whatever number it lands on, that is the episode number. Then we will see how many comments in that episode. Then I will put, enter that number of comments into the spinning wheel of destiny. destiny. And then we will find out what number comment wins. Count it down and off we go, Can't Here we go. Get your phone ready to see what episode number. Here we go. Episode number 20. Okay. Episode number 20. That we are now going accessed. to see how many comments. It's being accessed right now as we speak. This is being Michael is right now accessing it. I'm being accessed. He's hacking into YouTube to find out how many comments episode number I'm 20 very had. quick at accessing. Okay, I'm at episode 20. I've just accessed it. Oh, fuck it, that was so fast. We Je have not that many. That's good. That's bad. We got 1.5k comments. Oh, that sucks. Okay. All right, guys, Julian has actually hacked the mainframe and he has come up with a much better way to pick the winner than we thought, right? So there's this website. We've added the link of episode number 20, which has been selected, and all of the comments come up minus the replies. So now I will click this button and it will randomly pick one of the 771 comments that you guys commented. Originally it was 1.5K, but that was our replies. So this is all of your ring ones. Minus replies. Julian hacked the mainframe. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. <laughs> we could win a thousand dollars right now. No, we can't because we're out of the No, we, of course we can. I commented as Marty and Michael on every podcast. Oh. <sighs> All right, go. here we go. I so. really hope it's us. All right, everyone. Good luck, everyone. <laughs> also, fuck. All right, Julian. here we go. Here Julian. we go. Here we go. <sighs> Damn it. Tom Sheba. And the comment is the number 50. It's one of those dudes who's just gone one, two, three, four, five, six. Smart, Told man. you it would pay off, man. He is the winner. All right, we're going to pick some backup cunts in case Tom is uncontactable. But Tom Shiba, you have won. Get into contact with us, all right? Uh, um, uh, um, email james at martyandmichael.com. All right, you've won $1,000, dude. Congratulations. But what if someone random just emails and says, I'm Tom Shiba? Um, have proof. Yeah, don't do that, yeah, right? You if, you're Tom, if you're not Tom, if you're not Tom Shiba, Shiba, yeah, exactly. That's how we prove this. <laughs> Sorry about Fucking that. Anyway, God. Tom and the other one. Well done. You win a thousand dollars each. <laughs> Fucking hell. All right. Guess what? It's time for everyone. What is it? It's it's time for a fucking little prank call. Look at Matt. <laughs> Matt's gonna do a dance first, and then Michael's gonna, gonna do a dance. Right Come on. Get up. Mate. Stand up. Come on. Stand up. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Control man. yourself. All Sorry. Right. Now, live prank calls. We've never done it before. You might not know this, but on the podcast when we do prank calls... Sometimes it just rings for like fucking two minutes and then someone hangs up after 10 seconds. So bear with us. This is a live prank call. We've never done this. All right, so we're going to call Julian's dad off a private number. I'm going to pretend to be a policeman and Tracy's going to be like agreeing with what I'm saying. All right, here we go. I'm Constable Ben Hodgins. All right, let's hope he answers. What's his name again? Dave, that's right. Hello. Uh, g'day, is this Dave Woods? Yep. Yeah, mate, it's Constable Ben Hodgins here. Um, we've just got Julian down uh, at the uh, CBD police precinct. Um, we've just got a call uh, at the end of a live show um, and he has been involved in an altercation. Um, and we've got his, um, his mother here, I think Tracy. And yeah, they um, we're just calling you to let you know, and um, someone's going to have to come and either bail him out or come and pick him up in the morning. Yeah. So why tell him that? Because we're going to need someone to either bail him out or come and pick him up in the morning. Do you want me to just put Tracy on? Yep. Hey, hun. Jules has got into some sort of altercation after the show. 
What are you doing still there? I thought you were coming straight home. No, I'm, 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 at, I'm at Mackeston Street at the Watch House. <coughs> so where's your car? I've, I've driven it in. I've, they allowed me to park in the little side street. So what the fuck are you? So what can you bail him out? Because I, I didn't bring my credit card. Oh, fuck, and he can stay there tonight. <laughs> Dad, it's a prank call, it's a prank call. <laughs> <laughs> you can fucking stash it tonight. Holy that shit. Is very that good. was nearly a fucking domestic. <laughs> Holy oh, shit. Oh, oh my god. Fuck you. That. <laughs> Alright, that. guys, that's the break hall oh, for the night. That is what I live for. What a hothead. Where well, you can fucking stay there tonight. Oh my god. That is fucking good. <laughs> Holy All right, shit. Alright, guys. The final segment of the evening. We're going to open up a little Q&A to you guys, all right? We've got like 15 minutes. So, hands up. If anyone wants to ask a question, just like we do the Q&As in the podcast, Julian's going to come around and slam a mic down your teeth, cunt, and you fucking ask away. All right. I just want to ask Michael. I fucking love him. I love you as all. Don't get me wrong. A machine elves real, and I know they are. What's a shin machine? El- machine elves, man. Oh, the mechanical elves. Mechanical elves. elves. Yeah. Oh, yeah, DMT. yeah. Like, I don't know. Anyone who's ever done DMT. Yeah, like, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a million percent. It, it's not, it's not like, yeah. Only people who know. They're know. real then, they're real. But yeah, like, it's like a, there's other life forms out yeah, there. Uh-huh. Just, a million we're percent. In, like, imagine we're in a frequency, like oh, a radio station. Oh, you don't tell me this shit, man. You tell these guys this shit. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, right, right, yeah. hundred percent. If yeah. you want to do DMT, you'll, you'll find you there's find, a, right now in this space, there's other shit going on you can do it and yeah it will. i love you mickey thanks all right who else has got a question put your hand up uh a simple one can i get a kiss from michael a peck only no time all right come up here come up here oh shit <laughs> you have to go to him go to him michael <laughs> you cheated on emma you cheated boys. on emma for the boy all right up here Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. Here we go, social justice warrior. Oh. oh, yeah, that's me. That's me. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I was going to ask you about that. Um, how fucking clang did you get before you came on stage, to be honest? We were all right. We were good. We had a few Bullshit. beers. I've you been sipping at them. No, no. <laughs> no, we, yeah, we, usually we definitely would, but we thought we'd better stay semi straight. Yeah. It was me who was but getting after, fucking cunts yeah, at backstage. Fucked. <laughs> you guys better have lines for me. Yeah, yeah. no, wait. I thought we're going to get. Do, do you know what the worst thing was? I was getting fucked backstage and then came out, did that little intro, and then they told me my mum was here. <laughs> and I was like, okay, act normal, fucking a normal procedure. Yeah, yeah, all right, no, who else? My name's Dylan. I'm just wondering why. Michael hasn't shit on stage yet. Because <laughs> there's protocols that say we can't do that. It's hard to do that in front of your fiance. <laughs> That's so true. All right. Uh, yeah. Who else? I did do a vom. What's the um, next big step for the Marty and Michael brand? Oh, we got. Uh, well, we built a chamber, like yeah, a like a like a small <laughs> basement. Of secrets. Make yeah. comedy without shit videos like, in yeah. them. We're gonna keep We've, children there <laughs> and then just slowly. But help them. <laughs> it's about helping kids. Yeah, yeah just teaching them, not yeah. anything sinister. Yeah. Did you ever hear back from the guys that you kidnapped? Remember when you no, kidnapped that guy? I lost yeah. his contact details and that was it. We, we have never... a photo of him. Yeah, and yeah. I've seen the photo. It is so funny. <laughs> Because yeah, no well, one would have believed it. Like when I told the story to people, like everyone's like, like just thought I was just talking shit. And then I showed them the photo, and then things turned from all like, our friendships flipped. Like, right. like we became like these dudes like trying it, really it, hard it became to from, like, are you okay? Yeah, it became like a fucking something's wrong with us. Yeah. And like you know these like I had guilt showers. We just sit in the shower and go, I'm sick. Yeah, but you like, were like, dude. We feel yeah. guilty after every video we film for the website. We sit there for five I'm minutes on the okay couch. With that, but that was rough and i still feel bad to this day but like he said sorry for f- we sorry. we did it for money and he didn't it was his fault <laughs> he didn't pay, though, did he? He didn't pay. yeah, yeah. All right. this guy matt brown yes throughout the whole podcast these boys have been asking if you're going to smoke meth <laughs> are you going to do it Meth Brown. Nah, the, the boys trip. Audience, but we'll not see now, if we can get later. him to smoke a bit on the boys yeah, trip. Yeah, and see how much Just money I can squeeze out. Just a cheeky little point. 
Uh, Marty and Michael, I'm prescribed alprazolam, so Xanax. Do you want to have one each? No. Okay, <laughs> probably not. I'll, I'll take one. Fucking Christ. No, no, I'll take Zenny's one later on, but not right nothing now. Nothing ever right. has happened good on Zenny's. Yeah, we've had some of our most fucked nights. I've never right. ever seen it. Right, our boys have yeah. been held it, it captive honestly, up here. All right, what's your name? Levi. Marty and Michael, what is your best bender story? Give us a fucking good one, please. I don't think we can. The, the time we kidnapped that dude is like always a standout. But like, what, what's yeah, something like I haven't told him before? I like, and let's break that down. Honestly, when he didn't pay up, we're at the car at the boot and he's going ruffling through the money trying to pretend there was money in the back. And he started going, see us, and starts no, it running was, it off. Was like, he wasn't even... He didn't we do a website video where we did a step-by-step? He by wasn't step? even, like, nice about it. He was just pretending to go through the boot to look for money. And then he was like, looks, at, looks at us and goes, see ya. And then just started jogging off, not even running hard. And we so pissed on him. And he's calm as we pissed on him. Oh. <laughs> and then, as he's jogging off with the arrogance, I've never seen Marty turn because we had tennis rackets in the back. Yeah, he so grabbed a racket and he was yelling at him, I'm going to fucking kill you. So this guy had like a 50 <laughs> meter head start and I was sprint and he saw me sprinting. He and started, started realizing. And then I'm <laughs> screaming that I'm going to kill him. And no, I'm Marty, up. no. And then he tripped over right at the end and I stood over him and I grabbed him. I was like, what do you have? Give me your phone. So Give sorry. me anything. He just starts breaking down. I'm, I'm broken. Oh, God, it was rough. It no was, shit, he's and broken. This is he's why you don't on. do Valiums and alcohol. Like that guy who just said Zenny's. <laughs> That is about, that's what makes you go to these points. Yeah, that is so true. I know people who have taken Xanax and then woken up in jail. All right. All right, guys, before we wrap it up, can I just, I just want to send a video to my stepdaughter, Esther. So on three, can everyone just say, hey, Esther, just wait. Three, two, two one. one. Hey, Esther! All right, guys, James, come over here, James. Yeah, this guy is... Get in the middle. James, none of this night would have been middle. so yeah, shit sorry, without It's only James. water, it's only water. Get much, in the middle. And as much shit here. as we give Matt Brown, it's, it's just, safe, he's it's just a normal, kind, poor soul that has been thrust into this life, and he's barely had a choice. So everyone, please, a standing ovation for Matthew Gregory Brown! All the shit we give him. Thank you, Matt. We love you. You know we all do. We do, mate. All right. All right, guys. Before we do that, let's finish the podcast like we do every podcast. I've got to get this on our story. Now, remember what we are. We are are the, the best. We're the best. best. We're the best. We're, we're the best. We're the best. We're the best. We're the best. We're the motherfucking best. We're the 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 best.